In this tutorial, we're going to discuss the pen tool. So hi guys and welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to work with the pen tool. It's going to be very simple, not too complicated. And yeah, let's get right into it. First of all, we can select the pen tool here from our tool panel on the left hand side. So basically over here we have our pen tool. I'm going to hit right click as well and just show you guys something quickly. Over here you also have a few options. So first of all the pen tool, then as well the freeform pen tool, add anchor point, delete anchor point and convert point. All of these options here you can also use that via the keyboard shortcut which I'm going to show you guys in this tutorial. Alright then also here from the top you also have a few options here so I normally don't work with them sometimes I do and if I will I will talk about that. Alright so let's get started with the pen tool here. First of all I'm going to put down an anchor point and this is basically your first start of your line and this line is a path. So again, now if I'm going to continue with the pen tool, literally put another anchor point over here, you guys will see we have a straight line. So this is basically now your first path that you just created. If I'm not going to keep on holding the mouse, it will just create straight lines for me. As you guys can see, like so, or skew lines, whatever you want. As well, if I'm going to go over the path, you can also do that. It will just create solid paths where we have solid shapes like here or here. Okay, great. So once I lastly touch my first anchor point again, so basically my last anchor point now, it will combine the path and we have now a complete new path over here. Alright, so now I can work with this path. If I want to, I can hit right click and I've got a few options here to work with this path now. So again, I can create vector masks, I can delete the path, I can create uh, defined custom shapes, which you can also use as brushes later. Then as well, you can make selections, you can fill the path and stroke the path. Say for instance, if we're going to say fill path just with a normal color over here, okay okay you will see that we have a super weird uh, shape over here I can also press command shift and H to hide this little line here which you guys can see on the outside so again command shift H Windows user please use control for this okay and I pressed H there and as you guys can see now it's hidden and you can now work obviously with your shape and do certain stuff with that I'm just gonna go back in the history panel here go back one step and now show you guys also this thing here how why is that sometimes rotating okay let's start again from scratch so basically the pen tool again you can also press P on your keyboard and first of all I'm going to put one anchor point over here and now a second anchor point over here it's still a straight line but I'm still holding down the mouse so basically now I can move this path via just dragging my mouse a little bit. But now there are a few options. First of all, you can drag your path out, obviously. So you kind of creating longer two lines, like you kind of see these two antennas here that I have. So again, I can use them first of all to go with the clock and have a look how the shape and how my path actually here changes the shape. So I can move with the clock or I can move against the clock and I can also go and drag it out like really down all the way or up all the way and also create a different type of path different shape here with this line okay so uh, you can be really creative what I normally do is just go with the clock and then maybe I need to go a little bit more to the left or whatever then I just drag it all the way down in order to also create a different shape alright so I'm going to drop it somewhere over here and talk a little bit about just these little uh, lines that we have over here and these two little dots here First of all, I can select the top one here, holding Alt. This basically means now you also see we have now the move or the basically, what's the real name here, convert point. I can convert this point now, meaning that I can touch this and this will also again shape my path here. As you guys can see like so. So I can again move it left and right, up and down and again concentrate just on my shape. Alright, so that's what this guy does. Then as well, this line over here determines in which direction your new path line will go. So basically it will start in this direction and then if you maybe put an anchor point over here, it will rotate into that direction. If you put an anchor point over here, let's also show that to you guys. I'm just going to put an anchor point here and you guys kind of get the idea. It's going down first of all. If I want to press Command Z, go step back and now also over here put an anchor point, you will see again it goes down. So again Command Z, step back. If I want to hold Alt now and take this point over here, hold Alt, 
now I can first of all determine in which that new path line should go. Let's say for instance I'm going to also tweak it up all the way and now I'll create a path over here again. You will see that the path goes up first and then coming down. So let's create an anchor point over here. And as you guys can see now it's already creating whoop, a shape like that. If I'm going to press Command Z, do the same step again, but this time rotate that, we can again create a really weird shape. But obviously this is this depends on how, where you put this line here in the front. Okay, I'm just going to go a few steps back here and select this anchor point again here, basically meaning this little dot here, hold Alt, and move this down again. And now I'm basically going to put it into this direction. If you want to put it longer, you're going to create different shapes than if you put it shorter. Okay, now I'm going to go again over here yeah, and just create another point. And literally I can also do the same effect again. Okay, say maybe over here. And now the next anchor point is over here, So, but I don't want the to uh, be going over each other. So what I'm going to do is hold Alt, just move this all the way down. Take another anchor point over here and literally rotate that a bit. Keep on holding your mouse down. Again, I'm now I can do this a little bit quicker and create a really nice round shape. Okay, now as you guys can see, I've got this little ickle in here, which I don't want. Again, hold Alt. Just take this point down a little bit and complete your path and you have a really nice round shape all the way around. Great, so that's how I normally also create some really nice round shapes with this. Now again, you can hit right click and also say fill this path, make a selection, whatever you guys want to do. Again, Command D, get out of the selection here. Oh, I didn't even had a selection, but anyways, I can press Command Shift H, hide that again. Yeah, and as you guys can see, that's how I normally work just with the pen tool. So again, also anchor points. Say for instance, we have a few anchor points over here and you want to get rid of a certain anchor point. Or maybe, for instance, go a few steps back, just really raise one anchor point. You can basically select the anchor point and just press backspace. Select the anchor point, backspace. You kind of get the point. As well, if you want to create another anchor point in between somewhere, you can basically just go over here and say add anchor point. Here and add one in there. You can drag it up and down and change again all the paths again. So you have tons of options to work with this. As well, you can switch back just to the normal pen tool, select an anchor point, and that will subtract that again. Okay, yeah, great. So now you guys have a good understanding of how to work with a pen tool. It takes a lot of practice to work and to have a good, comfortable feel of the pen tool, but give it a try. It's not too complicated. So yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. If you like this tutorial, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you guys all in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.